All right, everyone, good morning. Uh, I apologize for the lighting if you can't see me properly, but it is early. Um, I'm about to go head over to a Cars and Coffee, one that I've never been to yet. Uh, I'm gonna meet James there, obviously, of course, like every other video with James. Uh, but we're going there specifically to meet a person that, well, I've met him before, but to meet up with a person uh, who has a Gen 3 Coyote, uh, I believe it's a six speed, but we're meeting up with him because he's got one awesome car. He has a Whippled Gen 3. We're going to meet up with him at the Cars and Coffee. Also check out what else is at the Cars and Coffee, but meet up with him. And then hopefully either later on today or at some point, uh, go for a ride in his car. Because he's, from what he told me, he says he's putting down around... 800 something crank on 93 he's not even on e85 yet so it's a crazy car it's yeah so on that note i'm looking forward to that we're gonna go pick this video back up at the cars and coffee and we'll catch you guys there kind of lame -ass cars coffee is this? dude i don't know if we're gonna have a parking spot So James and I got here uh, early, and I'm glad we got a parking spot because uh, we are lucky to get one. What's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing, man? Good, you? Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's good seeing this thing out here. <clears throat> I heard you long yeah. before you came. I was like, oh, he's here. He's pulling up. So that's a 3.0 Whipple you got there, right? Yeah, you said? Yeah, 3.0. And it's on 93. It's not 85. Yep. And you said you're putting down what kind of power? Uh, it said 900 to the crank and the tune <laughs> okay. that Lethal Performance did on these. Uh, 720 to the to the to the rear. So he's got the GT500 front end here. Now, these are completely open. With the GT500s, you have the uh, heat exchangers in there. But with this being completely open, the this here starts flapping. And see how it's open? It starts flapping so much, it rubs against the tire. So if you have this front bumper, you need to find a way to block that off so it doesn't get direct air on the here because that it <laughs> no, flaps that so it, much it rubs against the tire but and it can get hot and it could actually cause a fire so just keep that in mind if you have that bumper or if you're thinking about picking up that front end because it's been a problem on multiple people's cars okay so i just left there from i don't know if you would want to call that a car's and coffee because it really wasn't one uh Nobody showed up. It's a new, it's a new spot. It's a new cars and coffee. So no one really knew about it yet. So we just went there to meet up with Brian with the uh, supercharged coyote, just a spot for us to meet up and look over his car. So we're going to continue the rest of this video tomorrow uh, when I don't have the roommates with me. And then we're going to go take a few hits down in Mexico in his car. So the majority of this, we're going to conclude the rest of this tomorrow at Mexico, sitting shotgun in his car. All right, so I'm picking this video up here the following day. I'm back here with Brian inside. It's a 2018, you said, right? Yep, correct. 2018, it's the base model Coyote, but as you saw, he has a Whipple, a 3 Whipple, right? Yeah. Putting down, he's S, he hasn't officially had it on a dyno, but he's he's guesstimating probably around 720 on 93, right? Yeah, 7 to 720. Okay, so pretty decent power on 93. Have you ever thought going E85? Uh, I was looking into it, but it, I think it's getting into the uh, E85 and the uh, the stage three Whipple yeah. would be like 12 or something ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it, it gets it, ridiculous. I know he'd put down well over 800 of the wheel, depending on like what setup you decided with on, on E85. So it puts down a substantial over 93. But 
what we're going to do, we're going to go on a little bit of a road trip. We're going to go down to Mexico. Um, I miss what boost feels like since I had the GT500. We're going to go do a couple hits and uh, see what you guys think also. And his car, like I said, is extremely loud. It's got cutoffs, right? Yeah. So it's got the Corsa long two headers, Corsa exhaust, but he also has cutoffs where it just comes out basically underneath our seats, right? No, it comes out. It comes out in the exhaust, but it's uh, it's a muffled system. So they put okay on the. It's a split muffler, so it has. Uh, I don't know what they put in there, yeah. but it's a, like a chamber that muffles the sound. So there's like something in there that. It's loud as fuck. That's all I know. Is it's freaking loud. But uh, let's go. Uh, Go have some fun. At the start, it gets a little bit of squirrely. Yeah. And then uh, you could probably go after this guy right here, or you could probably sit and wait. Let's try that again. So what happened there is it kind of went into lint mode and it fell on its face. He's running pretty rich, he thinks. So we're gonna uh, just pull over here and pull over here and chill for a minute and uh, yeah, yeah, clear it. shut it off and yeah, and just yeah. turn back on and yeah. clear it, and like then it clears say. it up. Boost problems. All right, so we were in lint mode. We pulled off a little bit to uh, turn the car off and have it just reprogram itself or to reset everything boost life problem so we're gonna loop back around again and uh, if, he, if he wants to do another hit or two yeah. just pulled up back here back in the states here in uh, the Bucky's parking lot and you see there's uh, some Mopars some Corvettes and there's a Mustang with some drag reels and a GoPro right there so I don't know if they want to go out and go party or what so they just showed up so I don't know what they're doing we saw you guys and we saw the staying with the tire in the back so we're oh, like yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on over yeah, here yeah. <laughs> what's going on i'm aaron hello i'm jonathan nice to meet nice you guys to meet you, man. yeah man that's yeah, uh that's, that's a guy where i got the same today what's thing okay he has on the ess supercar oh he does right there. we got the ess yeah. nice <laughs> and, uh, is he 06 and what's this hey, let me get you a oh. <laughs> yo this is a grand grand sport yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah. there you go yeah, I drive this cab pack. Uh, you guys out for a cruise or you have to go out? Yeah, yeah, we came from. Get some uh, hits? Uh, oh, yeah, we came from um, Carrollton. We came from, oh, okay. from Carrollton. Nice. And, uh, Wait, yeah, we ran into like a white Mustang GT. He was with us. Yeah, he, like, <laughs> it was funny. We ran into like three different cars and they, nice. they all went off the wrong way. But yeah, we, we were fucking around the whole, the whole way over here. So. It's a good day for it. It's a good yeah, day for yeah, it. Hell yeah, it's yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Like, right on. Yeah, they got some good. SSSS. 
Hell yeah. That's nice. Oh, oh, I see it over there too. Pretty much, it says G3. Uh, <laughs> My seat is water cool system, too. 85, the 110, pulley. So it's on E? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, probably making about eight something, between eight and eight. Okay. Yeah. To the rear or to the crank? To the rear. Uh, yeah, dude, that would be. Because that's the ESS kits are no joke, man. Yeah, no, they're they're new and they're they're fast. Bad bad good? Fast. Yeah. I'm gonna take a look at it. <laughs> Well, you got it. You got to get the power it's over down. Yeah. That you need. On the E85, yeah. That's what I was going to say. You got E85. If I didn't go nitrous, I was really considering looking at the ESS kits. So, did you put the ESS kit on it or do you buy it with the ESS? Right, it was, I bought a police stock. And oh, okay. Put everything in there. Is it automatic or manual? 10 speed. Oh, automatic. see. It's got the, got the 10 already. Oh, there I you go. I was going to say, there you go. Know, but I didn't even. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, he's on 85. You see, if he was on 93, maybe. That's I was clean. on 93 with the boosted pump. I was like, ah, I want to get faster. And then I put in the four dual pump in there, 85. Um, and then I dropped the pulley. How do you like the ESS? Is it? I love it. Yeah? I really love it because of the sound. And it's different. Not a lot Sounds like a jet. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, better than Pro Charger. It's newer. Yeah. More efficient. Um, yeah. It's cheap. cheaper, too. Cheap. Like well, six grand, aren't yeah. they? I mean, when you start adding... Depending on what you add to it, yeah. but the base kits start at like six. Yeah, but compared to, you know, Whipple or Twin Turbo, it's a lot yeah. cheaper. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. And you could install them. It's super easy to install. Yeah. Yeah. A couple hours. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Um, yeah, I love it. Is I this, uh, what year is this, uh, 2020? Yeah, 2020. 2020? Yes. It's clean, man. It's nice. It's got the welds. Yeah. It's got the GT500 spoiler. Euros. That's clean, man. That's nice. It's got the core set streams, too. Yeah. It's a clean setup, man. I love it. It's great. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, we are parked here at the Busey's parking lot. And I guess the people here uh, don't like a bunch of cars parked in the parking lots and loitering, which we aren't doing, but they see it as otherwise. But anyway. I want to thank Brian again for letting me ride shotgun in his car. That car rips. I miss boost, nitrous, or that like that ESS kit that was on that uh, black Gen 3, uh, putting down well over 800 on E85. That's, that's what I'm looking for. But on that note, if you guys are watching and you're not subscribed, please do me a favor. Hit subscribe, drop a like, and a comment. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.